Hi everyone, this video is in response to the several requests that we have got about, uh, about the various queries that we have received regarding transcranial magnetic stimulation and transcranial direct current stimulation in autism. So this, uh, I will briefly give you an overview of autism and what we believe is the role of uh, TMS and TDCS in this disorder. Obviously, you are all interested in autism, otherwise you would not be watching this video. Autism, or rather what is called as autism spectrum disorder, is rather um, a huge uh, rainbow of diseases, uh, which is characterized by decreased social interactions, hyperactivity, and the third is language uh, impairment. We believe that autism is not a single disorder and I think most doctors and scientists do agree with us and hence they have replaced this name with autism spectrum disorder. I think it's a developmental uh, disorder and occurs in young children and I think we are increasingly noticing this disorder maybe because of the various environmental influences and also that we are increasingly uh, getting aware of this disorder and seeking medical attention. We do not know why it occurs. I don't think anybody as on today knows why, what exactly is the cause of this disorder. We do believe that it's a, uh, it's a sort of migrational disorder. But we believe uh, that it is a disorder of the frontal lobes of the brain. As you all are aware, the frontal lobes play a very important role in language, concentration, decision making, judgment and social interactions. These are the various the behavior, uh, behavioral abnormalities that we notice in these children. We all know that the left frontal lobe dictates or is the master of language and the right is for concentration and decision making. So we believe that autism occurs because of an impair, imbalance between the left frontal lobe and the right frontal lobe. The right, left frontal lobe, which we believe is the center of language, is not as well developed as it should be. So th this part of the brain is dull, so we need to stimulate it. As contrary to that, the right brain is involved in concentration, decision making, judgment, which are really hyperactive, which is uh, more active than what is necessary. And hence these uh, children have problems with concentration and uh, learning and we believe that this right brain hyperactivity is responsible for the various clinical manifestation of these children. Hence we believe that there is an imbalance between the left uh, frontal lobe and the right frontal lobe which gives rise to these symptoms. There are uh, traditionally there have been several therapies for this autism and I don't think one therapy suits them all and I think a combination of several therapies um, play a role in uh, treating these children. The various therapies that have been in vogue are behavioral therapy, pharmacotherapy, occupational therapy, social therapy, physiotherapy and several other cognitive therapies, several other uh, therapies and uh, we, are, uh, we are getting to know about more and more of these therapies as uh, the demand for these uh, services is increasing. Still, despite all these uh, therapies that are available, still we believe that autism is a poorly treated uh, condition. I think none of the parents are totally satisfied with uh, the available treatments that are available. And hence, the search for better and uh, uh, and uh, more efficient ways of treating these children is on at American Brain and Spine since we have a lot of experience with transcranial magnetic stimulation and TDCS we have completed around 40,000 sessions and treated around 2,000 patients 
and we believe that these modalities of non-invasive brain stimulation also play an important role in treating this uh, condition. We believe that these are the, not the only methods of treating, but we do believe that these therapies also will contribute to making these children become more useful to the society. That is, uh, there will be improvement in the language and also their hyperactivity decreases. With this hope, we have offered uh, these uh, therapies, the transcranial magnetic stimulation and TDCS to several of, our ch of the children in the last three years. I will tell you a few things that we have learned, we have understood and we have realized of using brain stimulation, non-invasive brain stimulation that is TMS and TDCS on these children. First thing, we have found it to be very safe. We have used uh, these therapies to children as young as, um, you know, just born. We have even given it to a just born child for other reasons. And uh, two years, three years, we have started therapies. And, um, you know, um, um, we have the age limit is around 90 years for other disorders. And autism, we have treated uh, several children now. So one thing we can, we are now very sure, uh, having treated several uh, autism children, is that, uh, is that it is safe. We have not had any uh, problem with these uh, therapies. Two, um, I think um, I think it has to be integrated with other uh, therapies. Uh, it, I don't think it is a standalone therapy. It has to be done with, along with other therapies. And most of the parents who come to us uh, usually are very active and uh, have their children in various other therapies along with this uh, TMS and TDCS therapy. Third point that we realized is we seem to have fairly understood what we should do. As I told you, the left brain is underactive, the right brain is more active and we try to correct this balance by using these non-invasive brain stimulation therapies. But I think this part we are clear. Uh, and fourth is, this is a very slow therapy. These are very difficult uh, conditions to treat and I think the, you, the parents need to be very patient and uh, it's, a, it's, an, it's, a, it's, a, it's a treatment on in progress. So uh, I don't think uh, if uh, parents think that uh, by getting uh, 5 sessions or 10 sessions or 20 sessions they are going to be totally um, happy and the children are going to be um, um, uh, are going to become uh, reach up to their, up their, their parents expectation then they will be disappointed. I think it is a treatment in progress um, so we, uh, the parents need to be patient and the children in whom very useful Results have been um, uh, have been demonstrated in our practice. Our children whose parents had a clear understanding of TMS. These parents were self-motivated. They had done a lot of research on their own and they were convinced that TMS and TDCS works. And they came for several sessions and uh, they were very patient. And then, um, and then really the results are quite dramatic in parents who have stuck with this treatment. Some of our parents' uh, children have taken treatment for almost one and a half to two years also. Uh, and uh, regarding the, uh, you know, the uh, intensity of this treatment would be, I would say that I think uh, maybe a month of uh, um, uh, alternate day of these therapies, I think uh, should be where we need to start. Uh, and then people do complain that uh, this treatment is uh, not available in their cities and uh, in their neighborhoods and their localities. That is very true. It is, I think, a very um, laborious, uh, very, um, uh, very difficult uh, um, uh, therapy to get at present because of uh, unavailability. But I think things will improve. As far as now, we are trying to we we are trying to make it available to all. And I think for 20 to 30 sessions over uh, one month is what our initial uh, goal should be of TMS. And then it has to be followed by maybe weekly ones of TMS uh, and also uh, regular uses of TDCS at home. Uh, I will just throw um, uh, some light on the role of TDCS. Uh, TDCS has proven to be a very useful, safe, effective uh, therapy that can be done at home. TMS you need to come to the hospital. TDCS you can get it done at the convenience of your home. It's a small device portable device uh, no bigger than uh, your cell phone that can be that can be used uh, uh, by placing two electrodes over your over your head it's a very safe technique it generates a small amount of electricity that um, that um, uh, that uh, stimulates the brain and produces uh, long lasting changes within the brain it's absolutely safe 
we have used several thousands of um, uh, several thousands of patients and we not had any side effects and this can be done at the uh, at the convenience of your home um, so to summarize I think autism spectrum disorder as it is rightly known is a, I think a wide spectrum of disorders characterized by uh, hyperactivity and a language impairment. Uh, we still don't know what it, what exactly is the cause of it and uh, several therapies are in use. As at American Brain and Spine we, we try to contribute uh, to the society to making these children useful back to the society uh, by offering this uh, TMS and TDCS uh, therapy. I strongly believe that uh, these therapies should be used along with other therapies and the parents should explore this option, Good should go for a few sessions of TMS followed by um, uh, continuation phase of uh, TMS and uh, at home TDCS and I think, I, I think not only in my experience there are several other studies, international studies which have shown to, uh, shown to improve the various uh, scores, various parameters in autism autism spectrum uh, scales have, they have shown to be useful and um, uh, in uh, having these children get back their language and uh, concentrate better. So on this uh, note I would end this uh, video and I would encourage all of you to explore this option and we have brought down the cost of uh, TMS uh, drastically. Most of the patient sessions uh, places uh, they have uh, uh, it's very expensive at our place we have made it only 500 rupees per session so that we want to make it available and affordable also to everyone. Thank you.